Hello, how you doing today? Sparky from SparkyUOnline.com um, I know you guys have another video for that other project, but uh, I got involved in this um, disaster and it's taken up quite a bit of my time recently just trying to get it all straightened out. So I'm going to show you a couple pictures here of uh, what I'm up against. But basically this is a 100 amp disconnect being fed off of a 400 amp meter. <coughs> and they've got uh, 100 amps going through the fuses and then it's tagged uh, tagged off here and goes out and feeds another disconnect with some number eights and it goes up to the roof I don't really know exactly where it goes to right now uh, that's one of my projects for Monday is tracing all this out and finding out where everything's going and what I gotta do this basically feeds one of three panels inside the building and on this particular disconnect here, or this particular power source, I have 12240 three phase uh, with high leg in it. So between these two, I'm getting 240. Uh, between this phase, A phase, and ground, B phase, and ground, I'll get 120. But if you go to this one here, I'm actually getting, I think it's right at 204 off of this particular phase which is on the high leg and it goes in like I said and this just feeds the uh, basically panel B is what I'm going to be calling it so having these tapped off here right off the bat is a no-go um, we'll go into the next picture here okay now here's another disconnect that uh, this one goes in and feeds the main panel and it's tapped off the same 400 amp feeder that that other disconnect was tapped off of okay and when I say tapped off it's literally um, twisted together and, and taped together in a, a gutter but uh, we got 200 amp fuses going in feeding A and B phase and then we've got a 60 amp fuse going in and um, <laughs> you are just going to die when you see where that red wire goes to right there okay the other thing is we have two more phases that are tapped off here one there one there it goes down and feeds this disconnect which goes through the 30 amp pull out and goes and feeds a piece of air conditioning equipment or refrigeration equipment okay now if you take a look here I got another wire coming off this phase which is actually um, I think that's off the B phase there the way they've got that tied up okay and then you've got this one coming up off the B phase there's actually a couple in here but nonetheless this is all got to get uh, removed and get replaced and that's what I'm going to be doing over uh, the next several weeks is getting this all straightened out. It's going to take longer than that, but uh, in general, there's a thousand other things inside the building that I've got to take care of. Very, very interesting stuff, and I think you guys will find it pretty interesting as well. And this particular fuse holder in here, you can see it's a fuse reducer down to the cartridge type fuse uh, rather than the class R fuses, but um, they actually soldered that in there so that those didn't come out you know, you can replace the cartridge fuse there and I believe that's an FRNR but um, and that's on the high leg which I think is only rated for about well, 250 volts so we're good with that but uh, anyway there's quite a bit more to this that red wire that I showed you in that last picture let's go back there a second okay that's this one right here there it is right there it's going in and feeding that 200 amp panel and it's being back fed on the line side of this three phase breaker in a single phase panel so here's the A phase there's the B phase and once again this pan th these are like from the 70s but uh, all this what you see right here it's it's in a kitchen and this is grease this is not burned up or anything this is just grease that's been built up so this is just uh, one of many 
and um, I'm still working on the other one that I talked to you the, the last video that I put up on that um, overheated feeders and I'll get to that one as well but I just wanted to throw this one up real quick and probably a couple other ones here and try and get a little bit organized and uh, so that you guys can follow along and and see what uh, what's out there in the field for you guys that uh, do construction all the time uh, once you get into service work and you start dealing with this kind of stuff it's a whole different ball game you really got to test your your codes and theories and um, find out exactly uh, how people have made some of this stuff work but nonetheless I'll uh, keep making some more videos I'll get them up post some questions check my blog www.sparkyouonline.com slash blog I'm going to put some pictures up there and some text as well so keep watching and uh, thanks for watching and have a good day